Now, the pivotal altitude does not vary with your bank angle. Notice all of these airplanes are on different bank angles, but they would have the same pivotal altitude. Your pivotal altitude varies with the square of your ground speed. It's the ground speed that determines your pivotal altitude. And little teeny tiny changes in your ground speed would make a big difference in your pivotal altitude. So the wind really does affect your pivotal altitude. So what are you going to do when you're flying this maneuver? Well, what you're going to do is adjust your altitude and if the point gets a little bit behind you, here the pylon's gotten behind you, what you need to do now is simply pull back on the wheel, you'll climb to a higher altitude, and at the same time you'll slow the airplane down. And those two things combined will bring, bring that point right back to the reference line. If it gets a little ahead of you, what we need to do here is ease forward on the wheel, the airplane will dive, pick up speed, and go to a lower altitude at the same time. And those two things combined will bring the reference line right to the pylon. So once again, pylon gets behind you, pull back on the wheel slightly, and climb to a higher altitude, slow your speed. Pylon starts to get ahead of you, ease forward on the wheel just a little bit, and you'll go to lower altitude, and you'll also pick up speed. Those two things combined, easing forward on the wheel, makes you pick up speed and go to lower altitude, and those two things combined bring that pylon right back. So you can see it's really easy to fly the maneuver. All you're doing is keeping the ball centered. Do that at all times. And adjusting elevator pressure is necessary to bring that pylon backwards and forwards is necessary.